John Finbar Bowen of St. Cloud St. Andrew, a well-known taxi driver at the Point Selene Airport, passed away on Sunday 28th August 2022 at the age of 76. He was the husband of Lynn Carr Bowen, father of Josian, Martha and Dexter, brother of Alpheus, also known as Delward, Beryl, Derek and Alma, grandfather of Johannes, uncle of many including Von Rick, Nicole, Shalma, Shabazz, Maverick, Donisha, Tony and Shirley, brother-in-law of Patrick, Bob, Peter, Erla, Janice, Patrice and Helen, many other relatives and friends including the Humphrey family, Denise Ferre and family, Joseph Sunnyboy Williams, Desmond Williams and family, Roselle Lyons and family, McIntyre Brothers Limited, Theobald Vento and family, Sherma Bartholomew, Anthony George, members of the Grenada Airport Taxi Association, members of the St. Andrew the Apostle Anglican Church, members of the Monlong community, and friends and neighbors of Bylands, Grandbra, Balthazar, Mirabu, Bamboo, Monjalu, and in Trinidad and Canada. The funeral of the late John Finbar Bowen of St. Cloud St. Andrew will take place on Thursday, September 8th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the St. Andrew the Apostle R.C. Church Grenville and interment will be at the Grand Bra Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Alexandrina Zan Marishu, former shop owner at the Cliff Woburn St. George, and a recent resident of the Grand Aunt's Home for the Aged, Caliste St. George, passed away on Thursday, August 25, 2022, at the age of 94. Left to mourn are her sons Edward Wilson and Clary Marichaud in Canada, Robert Marichaud in the USA, and Jerome Marichaud. Grandchildren Edie, Kathy, Kevin, Ian, Donnell, Dion, Dana, Isis, and Giovanni. Eleven great-grandchildren all abroad. Daughters-in-law Jerry, Carrie, and Merrill. Other relatives and friends including the Pascal, Mackenzie, Bab, Thomas, and Hercules families of Lua Woburn, Kim Francis, and other staff of Grenke's Caregivers Program, the priest and members of the St. Michael's Roman Catholic Church Woburn, residents and staff at the Caliste Home for the Aged, and neighbors, families, and friends of Calivini, Montjalou, Belmont and surrounding areas, relatives in the United Kingdom and Trinidad, too numerous to mention. The funeral of the late Alexandrina Zan Marichaud will take place on Friday, September 9th at 2 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the St. Michael's Roman Catholic Church, Woburn, and interment will be at the Montjalou Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Annie Eve Robertson of Grand Bra St. Andrew who resided in Maryland, USA, passed away on Sunday 21st August 2022 at the age of 83. She was the mother of Simon, also known as Roland, Leslie, also known as Penny, David, Eugene, Stephen, and Cheryl in the USA, grandmother of 14, great-grandmother of six, mother-in-law of Bernadine, Silke, Nora, and Rochford. Sister-in-law of Teresa Wise in the UK. Close friend of Eve, Anna, and Amanda. Many nieces and nephews, other relatives and friends including the Wise family in the United Kingdom, the Julian family of Salisbury Road, Grenville, and in the UK, Florence Joseph and family, Cleo St. Clair and family in the USA, Anastasia Harvey and family of Grand Bra, David George in Boston, the Horsford, Macmillan and Jones families in Grenada, and friends and family in Grenada and abroad. The funeral of the late Annie Eve Robertson of Grand Pra St. Andrew will take place on Friday, September 9th at the St. John the Baptist LaSalle Roman Catholic Church, Maryland, USA, and interment will be at the George Washington Cemetery. Arrangements entrusted to Lagpa Brothers Funeral Home. Raymond Batiste, also known as Rabies, of Tempe St. George, who resided in Canada, passed away on Monday, August 22, 2022, at the age of 72. He was the husband of Joyce Lynn Batiste, father of Rima in Canada, grandfather of Brielle, 
brother of Maureen and Desmond in Grenada, Lincoln and Michael in the USA, and Joseph Batiste, uncle of Rochelle, Kelvin, Teddy, Joel, Ramon, Jaime, and Joselle, brother-in-law of Elsa and Sherma in Grenada, Roland in Trinidad, Roslyn, Velma, Irma, Esther and Joan in the USA, and Errol in Canada. Many cousins, other relatives and close friends in the USA, the UK, Canada and Grenada, including the Batiste, Edwards, Clowden, Thomas, Boca, Morgan and McBurney families, Charles Lake and family, Cecil Charles, also known as Peggy, Perrin Johnson and family, Miss Cynthia Alexander, Rosalind Batiste, Crawford Best, Elijah and Anthea Japal, Basil Noel, Raymond Redhead, Maureen Cuffey and the members of the All Black football and cricket teams, and friends and neighbors of Tempe and surrounding areas. The funeral service for the late Raymond Batiste, also known as Rabies, of Tempe St. George, who resided in Canada, will take place on Saturday, September 10th in Canada, followed by private cremation. Ashes would be laid to rest in Grenada on a date to be announced. Arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Vincent Anderson Cayenne, also known as Sadis and Sam, of Mount Pleasant Cariacou, passed away on Tuesday, August 16, 2022, at the age of 65. He was the son of Elizabeth Cayenne, also known as Sister V, companion friend Fran of Grand Bay Cariacou, father of Alicia and Allison. Brother of Gemma Claudette Caesar, Melba Cayenne Douglas, Audrey Roberts, Myrtle Roberts Aldridge, Deborah and Fitzroy Cayenne, all in the USA, Caroline, Andrew and Simon Vincent in the United Kingdom, and Patrick in Trinidad, nephew of Doreen McIntosh, Sylvia and Easton Cayenne in the US, Inga Charles in Grenada, and Charles and Samuel Stanislaus, brother of William, Othniel, Andrew, Sheila, Mary, and Yuri, brother-in-law of Bishop Samuel Caesar, Larry Douglas, Jadu and Twine, and David Aldridge, all in the USA, uncle of 25, godson of Mrs. Alma Phibbs, close cousin of Cynthia Stanislaus and Germaine Cayenne Bishop, many other relatives and close friends including the Cayenne and Stanislaus families, and neighbors of Mount Pleasant and Grand Bay Cariacou and surrounding areas too numerous to mention. The funeral of the late Vincent Anderson Cayenne, also known as Sadis and Sam, of Mount Pleasant Cariacou, will take place on Monday, September 12th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Lacroix Brothers Funeral Chapel, Lauriston Cariacou, according to Glad Tidings Pentecostal Assembly rites, and interment will be at the Grand Bay Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacroix Brothers Funeral Home. Joel Hazard, also known as Rastaman and Iwell, of Loreland St. David, passed away on Monday, 25th July 2022, at the age of 42. He was the son of Lynette Hazard, father of Kevin Isaac and Omega Gibson, several brothers and sisters including Peter Hazard, Elron Nelson, Vicky, Raquel and Rhea Hazard and Irma, uncle of seven, Nevy of many, including Marcia, Judith, Andrew and John Hazard, Pamela and Jude MacDonald, close friend of Michelle Isaac. Many cousins, other relatives and close friends, including Rochelle Gibson, cousins Nakisha, Akisha and Kenesha, Denise Lewis, Nigel and Twine in Tortola, Leon and Twine, Devon Worm, and friends and neighbors of Loreland, Windsor Forest and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Joel Hazard, also known as Rastaman and Iwell, of Loreland St. David, will take place on Tuesday, September 13th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the St. Dominic's R.C. Church, Pedmata, and interment will be at the Windsor Forest Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Sterling Stephen of Vendom St. George passed away on Friday, August 5th, 2022, at the age of 48. He was the son of Adonis Stephen, father of Shalisha Fletcher Hines, grandfather of Allegra Hines, 
brother of Jennifer Stephen, Eulen Stephen Reed, Patsy Adolphus, Agnes, Marva, Helen, Sherry Ann, and Bernard Alexander, nephew of Gloria Thomas and Peter Stephen, father-in-law of Ali Haines, uncle of Krista and Rhea Stephen, Giselle, Jason and Jensen Dominic, Alex Reed, Clint, Alex, and Anson. Many cousins, other relatives and close friends, including the Stephen family of Vendam, Bolio, Happy Hill, Concord, and Marigot, the Daniel, Bartholomew, Alexander, and Joseph families of Vendam and Willis, Doreen, Celia, Gladys, Gomez, Mark, Anique, Sherman, Fitzroy, and Derek, and friends and neighbors of Vendam and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Sterling Stephen of Vendham St. George will take place on Tuesday, 13th September at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Vendham Roman Catholic Church and interment will be at the Vendham Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Charmaine Loris Samuel of La Femme St. David passed away on Thursday, August 25th, 2022 at the age of 40. She was the daughter of Teresa Samuel and Ernest Blackett, granddaughter of Agnes and Guy Maureen, close friend of Andy Batiste, sister of Tonisha and Nisha Samuel, Linthia, Yolanda, Liber, Carrie and Kendall James, niece of Clara Samuel, Marcia Charles, Joycelyn, Stanley and Sharon Maureen, Lorna Felix, Avis Abond, Jenny and Janice Stewart. Aunt of Kayla, Kaelin, Kaylee, Caden, and Caleb. Many other relatives and close friends, including Jude and Doreen Hector, Ruth Kennedy and family, the Samuel family of Lowell FM, Beaton and Laureland, the Blackett family of Beaton, Ingrid and family, the Batiste family of Mardi Gras, Christine Alexis and family, Brenda Samuel and family, the 1999 graduating class of the Happy Hill Secondary School, and friends and neighbors of La Femme and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Charmaine Loris Samuel of La Femme St. David will take place on Wednesday, September 14th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Garden of Prayer St. Paul's and interment will be at the Mount Avery Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Sybil Charles of the Villa Victoria St. Mark passed away on Friday, September 2nd, 2022, at the age of 86. The funeral arrangements for the late Sybil Charles of the Villa Victoria St. Mark will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Glenn Griffith Jones of Dudmar, who resided at Syracuse St. David, passed away on Thursday, September 1st, 2022, at the age of 54. The funeral arrangements for the late Glenn Griffith Jones of Dudmar, who resided at Syracuse St. David, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Danny Johnson, also known as Ranks, of Vendom St. George, passed away on Sunday 28th August 2022, at the age of 62. The funeral arrangements for the late Denny Johnson, also known as Ranks, of Vendom St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Costly Aline, also known as Ninja Man, of Woburn, who resided at Jean Anglais St. George, passed away on Thursday, September 1, 2022, at the age of 58. The funeral arrangements for the late Costly Aline, also known as Ninja Man of Woburn, who resided at John Anglais St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Franklin Vincent Fortune, also known as Franklin, of Brunswick Carrier Coup, passed away on Saturday, 3rd September 2022, at the age of 55. The funeral arrangements for the late Franklin Vincent Fortune, also known as Franklin, of Brunswick Carey Coup, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Marilyn Benjamin of Central Depardine Street, Grove St. John, 
passed away on Thursday, September 1st, 2022, at the age of 62. The funeral arrangements for the late Marilyn Benjamin of Central Depardine Street, Grove, St. John, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Eno Williams, also known as Veronica Henry of Grand Roy St. John, who resided at De Blando St. Andrew, passed away on Monday 29th August 2022 at the age of 86. The funeral arrangements for the late Eno Williams, also known as Veronica Henry of Grand Roy St. John, who resided at De Blando St. Andrew, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Peter Alexander, also known as Nash, and Peter Cow of Tempe St. George, who resided at Balthazar St. Andrew, passed away on Tuesday, August 30th, 2022, at the age of 78. The funeral arrangements for the late Peter Alexander, also known as Nash and Peter Cow of Tempe St. George, who resided at Balthazar St. Andrew, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Gordon Rawley Joseph, also known as Banks of Tivoli St. Andrew, died on Sunday, 28th August 2022, at the age of 54. The funeral arrangements for the late Gordon Rawley Joseph, also known as Banks, of Tivoli St. Andrew will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. The management and staff of MTV extend deepest condolences to those of you whose loved ones have passed on. Thank you for watching. The Bible, this book, familiar to every person on the face of the earth today, gives us directions for our life. When death comes, there is great sorrow to the family and friends and loved ones of the, the one that has passed on. But if we put our trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and we follow the instructions of this book, we know we will meet again. We don't take it lightly. We don't take it for granted. There must be a decision. Because without a decision, the decision is made to be separated from God. So put your trust in the Lord. Believe. The thief on the cross said, Lord, consider me. And Jesus said, today you would be with me this very hour. And they died together. So put your trust in the Lord. And God bless you during your time of grief and bereavement. Put your trust in the Lord.